Hi guys, it's me. It's Mrs. Soto. I just wanted to come by and say hi, talk to you for a couple minutes. I wanted to tell you, have any of you guys noticed, and I'm sure you have, that it seems like, it seems like we're getting nickel and dime to death. I, I mean, seriously, I mean, we don't have a say. They have the say, and then we've got to pay. I mean, seriously, yeah. I was I was driving back home today and of course you guys have seen it all it's it, driving by an area where they're doing construction but it says fines doubled you know what I mean as I was driving past that I thought to myself it hasn't always been like that I mean if you got a ticket you got a ticket but now they're gonna double the fines like if it's not punishment enough to get a ticket they're gonna double the fines just because they can and then they yeah, know I didn't get a ticket I just drove past the sign and then I was thinking earlier in the morning I had just paid the water bill and on the water bill there was a, a flyer that was put in with the bill and it said on there drought warning okay it says uh, that they give you a certain days that you can put your sprinkler on and a certain amount of time only 13 minutes per zone whatever that's not bad but the thing is what they wrote on there in addition they wrote if you don't do this we're gonna because we're gonna have people coming by the house to check if we see your water on plus they know already because they with the meter it shows how much water we use but it says if we go over the amount of time that they say that's going to be for the first offense two hundred dollars and then a second offense is five hundred dollars a third offense if they catch you using too much water it's a thousand dollar fine I mean come on come on in addition to this ginormous bill that they send every month for the water bill anyway really seriously I, I live in an unincorporated area and they have to tap into the to the um, city line uh, of another city the nearest close by me so we pay outrageous but anyway that they're giving warnings because they're they're gonna try to get all they can do and then I was paying the insurance today it was the day to pay the bills so I was paying the insurance on there and then I was looking on there and it says that uh, it says of course your minimum amount due and then it says if you want to pay the total six months in advance uh, then if you want to pay all six months then that's fine if you choose to pay the minimum instead of the whole six months there's an extra two dollars and fifty cents that they have to charge you What? For what? Paying the same amount that we were told that was how much we were going to pay every month. But we're going to get fined for that because we're not paying the six months at one time. Nickel and diming. I'm, I'm serious. They, and I'm sure you guys have tons of different things you could, you could tell me that they're nickel and diming you about too. It's just really heinous. I'm just really tired of it. I, I just I, I don't see why they have to do that to the people uh, you know praise the Lord we're okay but there's so many that aren't there's so many that aren't okay tonight we have to go get groceries tonight when we get groceries me and my husband just look at each other for excuse me for the prices that have gone up you know I, I can remember I was telling him you know for me and him the amount that we pay is like what a hundred maybe a hundred and fifty dollars for two weeks maybe a week and a half but it's just me and him you know what I can't imagine if I had the same kids in the house growing up when my kids were little when my kids were little there were six of us in the house and sometimes more because there were friends coming over and family coming over and it wasn't easy but let me tell you this with prayer and cutting coupons I used to buy groceries for all for a week's worth of food for all six of us for forty dollars that was back in 97 forty dollars a week four zero back in 1997 look at it now I understand that that was 15 years ago but I mean wow wow 
I don't know how anybody can even afford to have family these days. Without God, I'm sure it's impossible. And when you look at the, the world, you know, it, the more that people want to turn away from the Lord, the harder it's going to get for them. They need to get in closer with the Lord. I was thinking about that, and I thought I'd, I'd talk to you guys and tell you about that. There's just so much other stuff that's, that's on the horizon. Of course, every day we look for the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming, and so, so many people are... I, I don't know, going crazy because he's taking so long to get here and not coming on the time that they wanted. No, no, his timing is perfect. It, it might be our desires that are a little off. He knows who in his timing is and it's perfect. And I was remembering, um, okay, not everybody. I'm not talking about everybody, but there are just some people I've seen on YouTube that have that frame of mind. So I love all you guys, don't get me wrong. I was, I was remembering... Um, you guys remember, it's in the Bible in, in Luke 2, uh, it was verses 41 to 52, I wrote it down over here. It was when Mary and Joseph were looking for Jesus because he had, uh, he had, they hadn't seen him in a little while. He was left behind in a town that they had just left and, and they were gone a ways ahead. I believe it was a couple of days ahead that they went and they hadn't seen Jesus. I don't remember exactly how long it is. I just read through that story so fast I didn't put tons of it to memory. But let me tell you, um, when they found Jesus, they said, yeah, it said they hurried back to Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph looked and looked and finally they found Jesus. He was sitting in the temple. Jesus was listening to the teachers. He was asking them questions. The teachers were amazed at Jesus. The teachers were learning from Jesus even though he was just a boy. Mary asked Jesus this, he said, why are you here? We have been looking for you. Kind of, that reminded me, because we're all looking for Jesus now in the sky. But what was Jesus' answer? Jesus said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? And Jesus went home with them. But guys, he's going about his father's business right now. That's why he's not here yet. He's going about his father's business. And he's going to be here so soon at just the perfect time. We just have to really, uh, really keep patient. And I try to tell myself that every day. Debbie, just keep patient. And I know that there are more of my family members uh, than there ever have been before that are in heaven waiting for me. And that is, wow, there are my treasures are in heaven. My mom's there, my dad's there, I have a baby there. My precious dog just passed away in June. So I have a lot, a lot of love there in heaven waiting for me. Not to mention the love of my life is our bridegroom, the Lord Jesus Christ. We just have to stay strong. He'll be here soon. He'll be here real soon. We have to keep on keeping on. And it gets frustrating sometimes, I know. We try to share the word with, with different people in these last days and even... They either are angry towards you, or they don't give a care what you're saying. It's going in one ear and back out the other. It's, it's really a wicked atmosphere we're living in right now, but us as Christians, we have to keep shining bright. We have to let the world see the love of Jesus in us every day. Every day. It's not easy, but we have to. Well, guys, I just wanted to tell you that that was pretty much a bunch of nothing, but... I wanted to tell you that, and as we're coming in the middle of, in the middle of uh, the whole political season, it's going crazy. But I just wanted you, uh, just you to keep in your heart that the time is short. We're going to be with the Lord for eternity soon. Can you imagine that concept of eternity? Sometimes it's hard for my mind to even take it. Eternity, hard to hard to that concept is hard. It's going to be. We're going to be living a life with Jesus. No more pain. We, we won't have to be trying to get the money to pay the bills. It's already paid in full by Jesus. It's already paid in full. It's going to be a life that we, we, our minds can't even imagine. And then you know what's weird? Let me tell you something weird. There's been a word that's been coming to my mind for about the last two days. It's really maybe about two and a half days. 
and and I don't know why I have this word opal opal I know that sounds strange I don't know why that word keeps coming in my mind opal and I know it's a jewel I've never seen one I've never had one opal why would that word keep coming in my mind flashing in my brain I don't know that's just that's just how it is well I'll let you guys go for now I just wanted to do a quick video and it's already been 10 minutes but I love you guys keep watching for Jesus because he is in his father's house he's making sure everything is perfect well actually he's omniscient so he's everywhere but he is coming back for us he'll be appearing in the clouds and you know what I th I think is awesome too I looked outside and it's an overcast and cloudy day today and then I think to myself it was a uh, from Ezekiel 33 3, Ezekiel 3 0 verse 3 33 and I know it says in there the end is near it was a cloudy day it says more but that part I picked out of the verse and every time I see an overcast day I think I, I think the verse is I wish I could memorize really easily the end is near the day of the heathen it was a cloudy day something like that you guys read it you're gonna like that verse you're gonna know it when you read it that that's the one I was telling you about Ezekiel 30 verse 3 you're gonna like it it was a cloudy day and it's been overcast over here all day long and when I think about the Lord coming and it was a cloudy day I don't know I keep and then you know what if you look in the Bible God was always in the clouds. If you think about that, I was thinking about how even when when the Israelites were coming out of Egypt and when with Moses and remember there was um the pillar of fire at night and the cloud by day to think it was a cloudy day, the end is near, it was a cloudy day. You know what that makes sense? Anyway, guys, I love you. Have a good day. Bye.